god. Nerve DJ? We break your tracks natural stacks. It's DJ Squirt. No drip. All splash. Nerve DJs worldwide, bitch. RubberCityRadioStation.com, baby! What? You better shout out to them damn Nerve DJs. Why? Because I'm a Nerve DJ. <laughs> I'm the regional vice president at ATL, baby! You better get with me! Ah, ah. <laughs> Ooh, let me suck in my gut. Alright, y'all. <laughs> Guess what? I got a new boyfriend. Ooh. He is so dope. What's up, C Talk? What's happening with you? Ooh, what's going on? I like that. You must be working hard today. You looking, you know, like you need a back rub, some dinner, and a meal. What you need? You need me? Man, man, all of the, all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> you know we could work that out now that we go. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody knows when you have an interview with DJ Squirt, you must follow the rules. Hmm. You ready? Um, I ain't got no. I guess I ain't got no choice. No, you don't. You want this interview? You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. We're number one, Sita. When you enter this studio, because you are on the screen in my studio, you belong to DJ Square. Okay. You cool with that? Hey, like you said, I ain't got no choice. <laughs> no, no, you gotta be willing. Don't act like you're being no, pressured. Oh no, you know what? I, we ain't, I ain't even gonna do you like that. Most definitely. Most definitely. That's right. Most definitely. Most pressure definitely. you with these big boobies. Oh no. <laughs> okay, ain't no pressure. Ain't no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boo. Rule number two. Now that we're in this beautiful relationship, any hoochie mama, baby mama, wife, I don't care who she is, she got to go. Hey, it is what it is. That's what got to happen. You know, you just, okay, you a player, right? I need to hear you say, y'all broke up. She out of here. I mean, she out of here. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> there we go. I ain't no cheater or a homewrecker, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, boo. Now that we're in this beautiful relationship, we can't just look beautiful together <laughs> and make all the money in the world. We have to know how to get along. Okay. Right about that. Okay. So here we go. I want to make sure that in the instance we have a disagreement or an argument, you know, anything that we can get along. Okay. All right. I'm going to read you the story. At the end of the story, boo, you need to tell me how you're going to make me happy. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. We took a weekend away in okay. a cabin on a hill. Two nights, three days, boo. Ooh, anything you could think of, boo, we did that. Mm. Ooh, anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We had a great time that weekend. It was awesome. It's the third day. We are both some bosses. We got to get back to work and make our money, right? Uh-huh. Your girlfriend looked out the window Monday morning, and it is 20 feet of snow outside, and we are stuck in this cabin another night. Your girlfriend I got an attitude, C Tuck. Now you stuck in this cabin with me with my attitude. That's not a good thing. Okay? Alright, I give you hell. I give you hell all day long. By the end of the night, you about sick of me, ready to throw me out the window. But we got to settle it down because they said we can leave in the morning. So, here's the scene, boo. We are sitting back in front of the fireplace. We in this cabin, right? 
And um, you pour me a glass of wine, trying to chill me out a little bit, right? Ooh, uh. Ooh, jealous. But I got an attitude. Mm. I don't have any clothes on. <laughs> so you just mad, just naked. But I'm playing hard to get. Right, I'm playing hard to get. So now you need to tell me what you would do to make me happy. Mm. <laughs> mm. See, first and foremost, I got I gotta gotta play you some of them some of them player rap tunes. So I had to go on, go on my library on my phone, hook up the speaker, okay. play play some play some of that dope music for you. Mm -hmm. You know, get get you all nice nice and ready ready to go ready to go. Mm -hmm. Have you something nice to eat. Mm -hmm. You know, we just lay back, relax. Mm -hmm. You know, and then the the rest, you know, it, it don't really need it's was understood don't need to be explained okay. if we got this relation if we got this relationship like we do oh you a mag daddy okay 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 guess what boo i think that'll work you 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 have you, now you, you have been just been <laughs> you, you you good now i'm talking about <laughs> we go together forever Ever, 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 ever. <laughs> okay, that is so dope. All right, thank you for playing in my little madness. Go ahead and shoot out your social media so my audience can follow you. Or right, my Instagram is at C Tuck Keep It G. That's C T U C K K E E P I T G. Mm -hmm. My Twitter is C Tuck Full Time. That's C T U C K. F U L L T I M E, all or both of them, all one word. No, none of that fancy stuff like no hashtags, no <laughs> underscores. Yeah, none of that. Just straight, just straight, flat out. So you got a nice little cool little voice, little tone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I mean, I've been like that ever since I was a little kid. Just, I'm just like real easy going. Mm -hmm. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. All right, boo. Thank you, thank you. So we're going to go ahead. UrbanCityRailStation.com is about bringing people together, showing them who okay. you are, what you're made of, sharing your challenges, struggles, and your success so that you can be an inspiration to someone else. Mm. Okay. I used to say kids, but I met some 10-year-olds that could school some 50-year-olds, so I said people. Most definitely, most definitely. Oh, that's true. These, gro these grown folks. Anywho. Okay, back to the interview. <laughs> All right, so these questions are designed to get to know who you are, what you made it, where you come from, where you're going. Because I believe, C Tuck, that if people get to know you and then they love you, they support you. Yeah. So these interviews are about people getting to know who you are and supporting you. Okay? Yeah. All right, let's get down to the get down. Mm. Question, question number one. Where are you from, boo? I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, hey. That's my hometown, Ohio. baby. Yes. Yes. I was, I, was born in, I was born in Orlando, Florida. But then when I was probably like like one or two, mm -hmm. we relocated to Cleveland. So, I, I mean, I graduated kindergarten and high school from Cleveland. So, okay. anybody asks me, Cleveland. I'm from Cleveland. Okay, got you. All right, boo. Here's a good question. How many siblings did you grow up with in your household? Not the ones outside that Papa created. Y'all ain't know about oh, y'all's yeah. grown. I'm talking right. about the ones you <laughs> lived with and learned with. Okay. Right. So two. Two. Ooh. Here's the magic question. You ready? What number child are you? The oldest. Hey now. Okay. Okay. I'm not just cute, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I am a nerd. <laughs> I study. I get my own data and analyze stuff. You know, I'm good at that. Okay? So I did a study of interviews and independent artists and the people that I met that are so successful. And my study told me, my study, now I don't know. My study told me that the most successful people in this world that are taking it by the horns and running with it are the oldest, the middle, or the only. Never the baby. <laughs> mm. So you fit in my theory. Hey. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Ooh, <laughs> I love you even more. <laughs> Alright, boo. So how was school for you? 
Mm. So high school, it was kind of. So when I so when I graduated high school, I mean middle school, I had a full ride a basketball scholarship to go to Cleveland Central Catholic. Mm. Uh, I didn't. Okay. I ain't want to. I ain't want to go there though. I was like, I'm like, mom I can play basketball anywhere. I'm like, I ain't want to wear. I was wearing like uniform all my life. I'm like, mom, I ain't, I'm, I'm like, I'm cool. I'm like, I just want to go to regular school. Because of she uniform. Like, I was just tired of. So she was, so she was mad about that. She like, oh, you think you about to go to Kennedy with your, with your homeboy from the hood, huh? Mm. And then she like, oh no, I think she like think again. So she got me on a special transfer to go to Rhodes on the west side. And she put me in the Navy ROTC program. I mean, that's good. I'm you didn't see it at the at the time. You didn't see that as good. No, it was it, it, it. No, it, she. I see why she did it. I mm -hmm. see why she did it. Because had I went to Kennedy, I would have. Mm. I would have. I definitely would. It would have yes. been crazy. Because mm -hmm. even afterwards, she uh, after my ninth grade year. She was like, oh yeah, you think you about to go to Kennedy now? Huh? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, it ain't no other. You said I ain't gotta go to Rhodes no more. She was mm -hmm. like, no. She was like, you about to, I'm about to get you this special transfer to Adams. They opening up next year. God. Yeah. And she sent me to John Adams on the special transfer. I'm like, oh man. Oh, but it, how did that turn out for you though? I mean, it, it turned out, it turned out good. It turned out good. I, I see why she, she kept me, even though I still got got into whatever i got into but like growing up mm -hmm. it just me not being around it at school like took she took me away from that for at least mm -hmm. a couple of hours mm -hmm. and gave me and then she always whenever she because she worked a lot she was a single mother mm -hmm. so so whenever she was able to she showed she showed something different mm -hmm. like she because like my my little brother he didn't come around till i was like 15. Mm. Okay. So, so, so that's what I'm. So mm -hmm. she, I was like the only child for the longest. Mm -hmm. So she'd be like, she'd take me places and uh, show me different stuff. Like I knew how to balance a checkbook when I was seven. Ooh, shout out to moms. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know how many so. mothers don't care? Rather go kick it with her friends and leave you at home. You old enough to look at yourself. Goodbye. That yeah, shout out to moms. Sure. What's your mom's name? No, her name, her name, Thalicia, T H E L I C I A. Shout out to moms. That's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I had to say that. That's fire, right? Oh, no, there. no. Shout out to her. That that that's my mm -hmm. home girl. She that's she fire. Knows. She cares. Yeah. You know what I mean? Enough. Don't care. I heard so many stories of you know kids waking up, finding their mama in the bed with another man, or she doing drugs, or she alcohol party. She cared. That's fire. Go where you want to go. I don't care. They didn't care. That's amazing. Yeah. That's a blessing right there. Blessing. Yeah, because I used to always think like growing up, like, why she she used to be like extra hard on me. You I'm need like, that. I'm like, then when I start seeing like the truck, like when I did get in trouble, like the stuff I was getting, I'm like, damn. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like, sad. that's why. And then mm -hmm. when I start, and then I still really wasn't seeing it even after it, like in the midst of being in trouble. Like I done got arrested, all type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So in the midst of being like sitting in like the booking, like getting booked and stuff, I still not seeing it because <sighs> I'm young. So I'm in that, I'm in that moment. So I'm like, yeah. So I'm with the homies. We like, yeah, what's up? Peer pressure. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't even really no peer pressure. I've never been like a follower. That's what that's what made her more angry with me or more disappointed mm -hmm. because she knew I wasn't no follower. So she knew mm -hmm. it was something that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So that made her more angry with me. Well, when I say peer pressure, it's because of the acceptance and the bond that you feel with your friends. So you're yeah. not peer that you were pressured to be a certain way, but you're pressured to stay in that alignment. That's still peer True. pressure. It's not that they True, forced yeah. you, dogs, you or bullied you, but that's because you're all over influence. Exactly. So yeah. that's still a peer pressure. So that's what I mean when I say yeah. that. that's a major lesson you can teach some young kids today. Yes. Most definitely. Most yeah, definitely. When the school opens in Atlanta, I'm gonna have you come in and talk to some of these babies. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's oh, fire. I'm willing to. I'm willing that's to. fire. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Okay, okay, okay. So mm -hmm. tell me. As a youngster, was there something? See, I know this with independent artists or just people in general that are so successful. They had something that inspired them as a youth to be this successful. For example, because I want you to focus, tap in at six, seven, eight years old. 
like what kind of things were around you that influenced you into this music? Um, for example, I had a young lady who every Sunday, you know, you have Sunday dinner, you know, with the family. She would end up, they would put her on the cocktail table. Sing, baby. You know what I'm saying? Throw money at her, give her money, and she can really sing. So it's certain things or events. Sometimes it's a death of a cousin, of artist you admire. There's something that has inspired you. What is that inspiration for you as a child? What influenced you? Well, really, I, I really just been around music all my life. As, as cliche as that sound, mm -hmm. I've really been around music all my life. Like even. When I was born, like when my family, they said when they used to come down to see me in Florida, they uh, play some music and I'd be bouncing in my little bouncer and stuff mm -hmm. to the point they nicknamed me Pussy. <laughs> you know, when I was in, my mama said, she said even when I was in her stomach, like she'd be playing music and I'd be kicking around in her stomach and mm -hmm. stuff. And so okay. like my, my dad did, my dad did music. Mm -hmm. But I, but he wasn't never, re he wasn't really around all like mm -hmm. that. But my uncle still did. Still genetically, me. still genetic inclined. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, okay. But my uncle, my uncle did music though, okay. and that's my mom, uh, that's my mother's brother. Mm -hmm. And okay. so when we moved up here, when we moved up here from Florida, we mm -hmm. stayed with my grand, my granny for for a while mm -hmm. in, in her house until okay. my mother bought her own house. Okay. And so. And so he living upstairs, so I'm around. He taking me to studio sessions. Oh, you know, and I'm just that's found the this different music. That's the influence. And then mm -hmm. like when my granny, like she'd come pick me up from school. Every time she picked me up from school, she always played 1073 the wave. That's Cleveland. Hey, so don't know. Yeah, that's, that's that was uh, Cleveland Jazz, Jazz Station. Mm -hmm. It was. They changed the format now. I don't know why. <laughs> but she yeah. Picked me up. She had picked mm -hmm. me up from school. Every time I try to change it, because back then, 93.1 was Political playing rap station. music. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I was trying to turn it at, no, you better not touch my radio. Okay, <laughs> you get beat up. I, yeah, to the point I start liking it. So now I have a deep love for jazz music. Mm -hmm. You gotta be exposed so to a lot of different cultures to use them. Yeah. yeah. That's fire. Can't, can't. <laughs> Just being around different types of music, like my, like my grandma before she passed, she was like, "Your birth certificate say you was born in the '90s, but I swear your soul is from the '70s." Okay. Because mm -hmm. I'd be listening to different music, mm -hmm. and she don't know how I knew, the, how I even gravitated to those Good artists. Well, like, why am I, why mm -hmm. am I 16 years old mm -hmm. listening to the Isley Brothers? Right. That's just okay. That's like, fire. They, even, they, mm -hmm. they was like that. That is so fire. See, when it's, when it's in your soul and your blood, it's a passion like that. You you can't get away from it, no matter what you do. You, you you're gonna always gravitate back to that passion. That is so fire. Awesome, awesome. All right, boo. So, what kind of artist exactly were you inspired once you did begin to rap? Like, what artist do you listen to now? Besides yourself. Yeah, besides myself, I pretty much. I listen to a lot of my homies. I do a lot of my homies do mm. music. I listen to their music. Mm -hmm. That's but it. We need some like, names. We need some names. Shoot out some of these names right like, now. Like, yeah, like like my one homie uh, Lil Pace. Okay. My homie Flizz. My homie Dev. Mm -hmm. it, it's a it's a couple of my my homie okay. uh, Delvante. Mm -hmm. it, it's okay. a it's a couple of us. It's a couple. Okay. It's a couple of them. I can go on mm -hmm. and on. Okay. That's but like cute. as far as like I was. Outside of the outside of the city, like as far as like more so artists with a buzz, like that influenced me. Like my favorite rapper, like they tied for first is Tupac and Biggie. Them was like okay. my all time favorite artists. All right. So that that's what really influenced me. And then like just growing up, the type of music I listened to, like I like my mother, she would say, "Yeah, you can't listen to this." But as soon as I go up the street, the homies listen. The older homies mm -hmm. listen to this. So. I, I grew up listening to Ice Cube, Too Short, mm -hmm. E for all of that other mm -hmm. stuff. So when I grow, so I'm growing up listening to it. That's quality music because mm -hmm. it's still stretching over to this time but now. <laughs> yes, that's what's important. That is so fire. So, 
so I so it's kind of like I like God blessed me. He blessed me to be born in the era that I was born in. Exactly. You better feel blessed. You know what I'm saying? Young black man made it over 20 years old. You blessed. Okay. So. Yes, ma'am. Now, yes, ma'am. I got a, a, a dope question for you. So, in this journey that you're venturing on as an independent artist. What is success to you? What type of things do you need to see in your plan to say, okay, I'm successful? Hmm. I'll, I'll be able to say that I'm successful when I am no longer punching a clock hmm. to feed my kids. There you go. There when you I'm go. able, when I'm able to do music, I love doing music. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm not, be, I'm not getting paid to be an artist. I am paying to be an artist. <laughs> Okay, transitions depending so, on how you working. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm invest. I mean, not not really like I'm not trying to make it sound like I'm just dishing. I'm I'm investing oh. in what I'm trying to work for. Yes, and you have to punch that clock so, investment. Got to have a plan. Got to have a plan. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So I have yeah. to punch that clock in order to invest in myself to get to that point to make mm-hmm. those necessarily necessary relationships as to where Mm -hmm. I will be able to walk away from punching that clock and Mm -hmm. to be able to solely transition into doing what I love and it being lucrative for me. Okay, that sounds good. I mean, that's amazing right there. I like the way you're thinking. That's important. Um, I really think people need to focus on what's important to them in order to get to that success and not the plan of someone else. So that's amazing. I love love, love what you're saying, boo. (laughs) Okay, so look. I got a $30 million question for you. Hmm. It's very important. People like to get a lot of money and then they don't know what the hell they do with it. I think that's awesome. At seven years old, you know how to balance a checkbook. You knew the, the, that's awesome. All right, here's the $30 million question. I'm your girlfriend, all right? And I went to Magic City and I was twerking. And I made a whole lot of money, right? Whole lot of money in Magic City. You woke up and I put $30 million in your bank account. Mm. You got a dope girlfriend, right? What would you do oh, with definitely. it? Bro? What would you do? And do I know you gave it to me? Yeah, you woke up and bing, you got a notification. Ah, you know, you see somebody gave you some money. Uh, Apple Pay, Apple Pay you $30 million. Okay, but so I know you gave. So yes. if I know you, I know you gave it. You know I gave. Not it. even it don't even matter if I know. It, not even if I know that if we in, if we cohabitating mm-hmm. and we in the same we sharing the same household and if thirty million dollars pop into my account, mm-hmm. I'm gonna make sure you good. I'm gonna at least give you half mm-hmm. to make sure you good. I just gave you half of my half, so it's just yours. Oh, so I oh, gave you thirty million. Mine. I got more. Than oh 30 no. Million. Okay, so thirty million. So thirty million. First thing I do is just pay off wh- whatever we got going on. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing I do. Whatever we got going on, so we just be complete. Whether it be a mortgage or whatever, mm-hmm. pay okay. that off. Okay. And p- invest in commercial property so we can open up a few businesses to create different streams of income. Mm-hmm. So we can keep this money generating. Mm-hmm. And then. Then I also, of course, invest in my music career. But I do, I do just like little stuff. Like I always said, I do it if I hit the lottery. So say somebody called me like, yeah, this car, man, I can't stand this car. It keep it shut off on me again. And if it's somebody that's people. really close to mm-hmm. me, I just they wake up the next morning, they have some keys in their mailbox and a new car in their driveway. So you'll help. So don't people. worry about how you got it. Don't worry about how you okay. got it. Just know that it's there. I, I don't need no praise or no parade. Okay, Long I know that's you right. You got it and you good. Well, don't forget about me if you get thirty million dollars. <laughs> oh no, no, most definitely, most definitely. I'm most I put my bid in now. <laughs> that is so fire! Oh my god! Oh, you're amazing. So look, what I would like for you to do. The floor is yours right now, Cesar. I would like for you to tell our artists about you whatever what you want to say to the audience shout out anything it's all yours go ahead oh basically i just want to 
and know that I'm affiliated with, you know, that support me and my music and anything, any of my endeavors, I appreciate y'all. I'm going to continue to provide y'all with the necessary content as much as possible. That way y'all mm-hmm. continue to show y'all love and support. Mm-hmm. And for the ones that don't, hopefully one day in the future, I convert y'all to love and okay. show love and support. Oh, but, um, okay. shout out, shout out to all the DJs out there, y'all, y'all hard working. And y'all, y'all don't get half the much as appreciation y'all deserve. Mm-mm. Don't. That's but uh, I, I got so much love for y'all. Expect because, because not all of not it's some of you. It's some of the DJs that do have like little egotistical attitudes. I oh, a lot of them. All of y'all. A lot of them. <laughs> But yes. but not all of y'all. You can't you can't paint y'all. You can't treat they can't treat y'all like police. Mm-mm. One one cop right. ain't beating up everybody. Exactly. I'm with you. So I appreciate <laughs> I pre- I appreciate the DJs and everything. You okay. know, make sure y'all tap. I just dropped my most recent project called Two Player mm-hmm. Volume One. Mm-hmm. It's available on all digital service platforms. Make okay. sure y'all check it out. Okay. I appreciate y'all time. I appreciate DJ Square for having me. Hey now, I'm your girlfriend. Boy, you ain't playing with you. I'm a fighter. <laughs> you better tell her I'm a fighter. But anyway, anyway. Gotcha. <laughs> that is so dope. Thank you so much for joining me. You know you got love and blessings from DJ Squirt and the Nerve DJs. Because that's how we do it. All right. Everybody, make sure that you download my app. I am on Google Play, iTunes devices. UCRS app is urbancityrealstation.com. I play all independent artists. I am catering to independent artists. I got a bunch of boyfriends that are independent artists. It is so dope. And um, this is my boo, C. Tuck, today. Dope interview, boo. I'll be watching you, tapping in, hollering at you on social media. That is fire. All right, y'all. It's been another good one. Everybody, have a good night. Say good night, boo. Take care, y'all. Yeah, I got haters, but they don't be stressing me. Say they got problems, but they ain't addressing me. Don't come with that flexion, no question. If you gon' be from